In this video, we're going to be determining solution points, specifically whether an ordered pair lies on the graph of a function. So let's first start off by asking, how do we know, or how do we determine rather, if an ordered pair is indeed a solution to an equation or a function? And the answer is, you plug it in and you see if it works out. You see if it matches up. So we're going to do a couple examples here and practice this. So we're going to be determining if the following points lie on the graph of the line y equals 14 minus 6x. So what we're going to do is in our equation, we are going to replace our y with the y value and our x with the x value in the equation. So we're going to plug in, right? So we have our y equals 14 minus 6 times our x. So we'll plug those numbers in. So we'll plug in our negative 5 and we'll plug in our 3. So what we're going to do now is we are going to work out this right hand side and we're going to see if it matches our left hand side. So we're going to take 14 minus 6 times 3 and that's going to give us a negative 4. So now we're going to take that negative 4 and we're going to compare it to our other side. This is essentially asking us, is negative 5 equal to negative 4? And that answer is no. The point 3, negative 5 does not lie on the graph of y equals 14 minus 6x. And that's our answer there is that no, that doesn't work. Let's take a look at our next example. So here we have our x value. And here we have our y value. And we're going to plug those in. So we'll have our y equals 14 minus 6 times our x. And we'll plug those values in. So here we have 26. And here we're going to plug in a negative 2. So it's going to work the same way. We want to work out this right-hand side. And if we needed to work out the left-hand side, we'd work out the left-hand side, but we don't need to. So we'll work that out, and we're going to see what we get. So if we take 14 minus 6 times negative 2, that's going to give us a value of positive 26. So now we're going to compare. Do those match? Is it true that 26 equals 26? And here, our answer is yes. So we will say that negative 2 comma 26 does lie on the graph of the line y equals 14 minus 6x. And so here we have our does. So these are our answers. So here we saw that it did lie on the line. And here we found that it did not lie on the line. 